Brother Simon's 49th article, The Father of Lies. Christian call believers evil because we don't believe that God is going to eternally torment the vast majority of his creation forever. Atheists call believers stupid because we don't believe life, the universe, and everything came from nothing. To my mind, this type of thinking is as batshit crazy as those who say women can have dicks and men can have babies. Lies. And do you know why, who the father of lies is? Care to guess? In John 8, 44, the Apostle John states quite... Pointedly, you are of your father, the adversary, and the desires of your father you are wanting to do. He was a man killer from the beginning, and does not stand in the truth, for truth is not in him. Whenever he may be speaking a lie, He's speaking of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. The adversary, who is also known as Satan, the father of lies, a man killer from the beginning. You see that from the beginning, Satan isn't a fallen angel. Again, this is one of his lies. The sovereign God created Satan to do his dirty work. In Isaiah 54, 16, God himself tells us, Behold, I myself, I myself created the craftsman who blows into the fire of coal and brings forth an all, forth and, and all implement for his work. And I myself created the ruiner to harm. Again, in 1 John 3, 8, we read, Yet he who is doing sin is of the adversaries, for from the beginning is the adversary sinning. For this was the Son of God manifested, that he should be annulling the acts of the adversary from the beginning. In 2 Corinthians 4, 4, Paul, the apostle of the nation, calls Satan the god of the Sion, small g-god, but a powerful fucking being, Nevertheless, who is responsible for all the lies that have ensnared the world's religions, especially Christianity, to say nothing of the cults of the world, including but went to man-made climate change and transgenderism. The father lies. When are you going to stop falling for his lies, Mr. and Mrs. Born Again? When are you going to stop falling for the teachings of demons? First Timothy 4, 1, the Christian doctrine of eternal torment, a demonic lie. The Christian doctrine of free will, a demonic lie. The Christian doctrine of immortal cell, of, an, of the immortal soul, a demonic lie. The Christian doctrine of the Trinity, a demonic lie. The Father of lies. Paul tells us in 2 Corinthians 11, 14, 15, and no marvel for Satan himself is being transfigured into a messenger of light. It is no great thing, then, if his servants also are being transfigured as dispensers of righteousness whose consummation shall be according to their acts. Should it really come as a shock to you that those preaching demonic doctrines from the... Pulpiter of the adversary, transfigured as dispensers of righteousness. What makes Christianity so... Dangerous is that it has hijacked the name of Jesus Christ who came into the world to save sinners, First Timothy 1.15, then transformed our successful Savior into a potential Savior who only offers salvation to those smart enough to accept it. That is a sick fucking lie. What makes Christianity so dangerous is that it has transformed the real God who is the Savior of all mankind, especially the believers, First Timothy 4.10, into a batshit crazy psychopath who will torture the majority of his creation forever for not accepting his son. That too is a fuck. A sick fucking lie. Who is the father of lies? Satan. Who is the father of the Christian religion? Satan. When are you going to get the hell out? 